Hello! Today's video is going to be about my snacks again because they are finally here! A little over a week ago I moved them here and I am gonna introduce you guys to them but I want to do that like properly in another video and I'll also be like telling you why I chose these two cuties but I am gonna like you will see them in this video because today's video is gonna be about like the moving process and everything so as I have mentioned before in my snake tank tour video these snakes are two ball pythons and I got them from a friend or my friends from coughing snakes and uh, I'll link them down below, they have a couple more snakes for sale. My friends introduced me to ball pythons years ago and I kind of always knew that at some point I would really want to have my own snake. She had a couple of snakes for sale and I knew like I, if I want a snake I want them to come from her. So when I was visiting them to like bring my snakes home she showed me the other ball pythons she had for sale and I filmed them, I'll show you them so maybe like I'll link down below their website and their social media so maybe you want one of those but yeah just have a look <laughs> So, as you can see, lots of different colors, morphs, genders, ages, lots of different snakes. And then, at the end of the door, she brought in mine. So, here is Snack. I'm calling him Snack. And as you can see, he kind of sort of recognized me. It almost seemed like he recognized me. And oh, he's so. He's so cute, like you can really see the difference, like all the snakes she has are cute because I just love them. But most of them were kind of shy or kind of like me, just calmly, just chilling there. But then my man came and he just came right at me with his cute little tongue and gave me kisses. And, oh, he's so cute. So I was happy. He was happy to see me and I was happy to see him. And then she also brought in my, my tiny girl, Sleertje. I'm calling her Sleertje. So the best way to move your snake is in a bag. Like a special bag. And Snack didn't really want to quite go in there. <laughs> but um, yeah, my, my dad was so kind to offer to drive. And so we just like took them in the bag. And you can really see the huge size difference between Snack and Sleertje. <laughs> And yeah, they were just like chilling in the sun. It was nice and warm in the car. And then when we came home, it was time for them to move into their tank. So Sleertje was quite shy, rolled up in a ball and everything, which is why they're called ball pythons. And they're often very shy animals. And they'll just like roll up in a ball. But not Snack though. <laughs> like he was just ready to go out and explore and immediately just started exploring his tank and it was it was so cute and so funny to see like he wasn't shy at all and i felt like a very proud snake mom because of that and he literally just right away started like exploring every corner of his tank very cute <laughs> at him go and here you can really see how big he is as well and while he was out exploring Sleertje also came to take a look after like 15 minutes of being rolled up in a ball and she just started exploring and was very thirsty as well so the rest of the first week they were already super curious and like not scared at all they were just like exploring at night especially and here Snack is just sitting half outside of the tanks, like he took a dump in his water bowl, so I just 
left the tank open to change the water and he already slid her out of there. But he was just very curious and he also got himself stuck behind the back wall of the plants and it was like, you silly animal. So I did change their tanks up a bit, like I changed it so Snack won't get stuck anymore but still is able to move under there and he didn't really seem to care much about like the round planter I took I put in there so I just gave him some extra heights with the thick plant wall and gave him some new plants like real plants as well and I gave Stitch some real antlers to climb on because she's very active at night so yeah they are doing great which I'm so happy about and after they've been here for like a week I tried to feed them but it might have been a little too soon like I'm feeding them like frozen mice or like Tall mice, I don't know, dead mice, like I, I don't feed them life, they don't eat life, which I'm happy about. But um, yeah, maybe it was a little bit too soon because my friend fed them right before. And I know Sleecher looks like she's like a baby, but she's actually an adult. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try again like in a few days. And I've already also handled them, like I took them out and everything and they, they were just so like curious again and just chilling and super nice and super chill and um, yeah, I'm happy they're doing great, I'm happy they are, they seem very happy and I am going to introduce you guys to them like on camera, um, but that will be a different video. So I hope you like this video, give a thumbs up if you want more of me and my snacks go to my Instagram to see some photos that I took. I was like, you gotta be my models, like I'm gonna take so many photos with them. And I mean, they, they don't care, they, don't, they didn't seem to care, so it was really cool. Um, yeah, I will link you down below my friend's website and yeah, I think she ships shakes, snakes, like that's, that's a thing apparently. So um, yeah, you can just check her website out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.